So quick disclaimer. Uh I'm gonna be saying a lot of stuff about the LGBTQ trans gay stuff that this game does obviously have and try to push. And I'm speaking from how I feel about it. And I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not trying to sound transphobic, homophobic when I'm saying this shit because it's genuinely shit that people don't want to see in a fucking game. A game that they actually will enjoy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying right now, just be with discretion of all. If you, if you, if you don't want to hear about the gay shit, the LGBTQ shit, the trans shit that's in the game, or my take on the shit, or if you do, but I don't know. If you, if you don't, you don't have to watch the video. You are free to avoid this video at all costs from this point, you know what I'm saying? But if you do want to hear it, then, I mean, hey, continue watching. Other than that, it's just a disclaimer in case anybody decides to, you know, go in here and just be surprised that I'm all of a sudden, like, speaking hardly on the, well, not hardly, but speaking strongly on the, the LGBTQ stuff that they push in this game and that how I feel it's just sad, you know? Anyway, on to the, the video. <laughs> you. And welcome back to another video. <laughs> Dog, these intros, bro. Video is going to be about Kill the Justice League and what I think about Kill the Justice League. Now, I thought about doing a review, but see, here's the problem. I don't want to put all that time in to do a review because I just don't see it necessary. Like, I'd rather just keep it short and fast. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. But, yeah. Before we get to that though, like a sub to the post notifications, uh, I got, well, I ain't mentioned this before, but I ain't have a PS5 for a good old minute, and that was one of the reasons why I couldn't get more recordings done with the, you know, the finale video of the Tango Rap, since yeah, at least the first part of it, so now that I got one, I'll be able to do that, so now I'm finally gonna at least be back on track once I get a couple more of these done and then you know finally move on to the other shit so yeah other than that go ahead and get to the game one thing I want to start off with first is the story the story of the game I'm not gonna I like the story of the game if you are able to look past the woke crap and all that if you are able to look past all of that the game is actually pretty, the story is actually pretty interesting, honestly. Like, the, like when I started playing this game, and through the cutscenes and shit that I, that I had saw when I was playing the game, I'm going to be honest, I don't really think anything less, because I know the general, the general point of the game is that you're playing against, you, you're playing as villains, that are forcefully recruited to be heroes, to kill heroes that are now turned villain, or at least, I wanna say at least by theory, because now it's being proven that the Justice League that you have to kill aren't the actual Justice League. Theories, theories, these are theories. And I'm not gonna say that it isn't or is, I'm just saying it's theories, you know what I'm saying? I just, but, but without the theories, you know, Killing the Justice League that I turned villain, but the only one that ain't turned villain being the Wonder Woman was basically neglects you for the entire game until she finally gets her ass handed to her <laughs> and sent to the Gulag, and then she realizes that it can be fixed, and sadly it's just something she can't do because she can't bring herself to kill people that she once worked with. You know, look past through all the woke stuff and the fact that they they basically made war into this this. One, I want to say 100% woke character because I don't believe that Waller's character is supposed to be that like if, if Waller's character is genuinely supposed to be that much of a you know hard person for real like always talking crazy because the authority she has and everything now if it was like that I can say that, you know, even though it makes me uncomfortable at times, all this character will actually be fine. Still will make me uncomfortable because, you know, but at least I know that it's because, you know, she's working with villains and she don't like the villains because, well, they're villains, but she has no other choice because it's either, you know, recruit villains to do the dirty work or 
Lewis Earth. I see Waller's character is just somebody that's literally woke based. Like, it's literally there just to push the woke agenda. I'm not gonna say you betrayed my trust because you never had it. I counted on you going rogue to get us inside Lexcorp. All humans do is manipulate. In my home, father would never. I'm your daddy now, Shark. That goes for all of you. I'm your daddy. You better get that into your heads if you want to keep it. So, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say exactly, you know, the scenes and shit that basically prove that why it makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm just gonna say is, once you start, once you get to the what you call parts where it involves King Shark saying something and then she just starts flipping the fuck out <laughs> or something like that, or well, at least on the first part, well, just shit that involves with King Shark saying something to her. In, a, in certain situations the story i like it and i want to say it i know people are going to point this out so i know people will be like oh so you so you support the way all the justice league characters die including batman like i'm gonna just say it i don't agree with how they done it but because i'm able to see exactly why it was done it may it, it kind of makes total sense because think about it these are villains that don't like the heroes that they have to go kill and because you know they put them in jail they locked they got them locked up you know what i'm saying these are people that have high 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 hatred for these people and to basically disrespect them in every way possible for personal reasons i want to say it's very very much well in their nature to basically disrespect them in that way do i say that it's you know a good thing that they did it no but if you look at the fact that they don't like these characters because they're the reason why they're locked up in fort knots and can't get out even if they try to escape because you know they just get blasted you know what i'm saying it's it just makes sense character wise it's it's kind of like it's kind of like the abby situation with uh the last of us part two where they basically make you play as Abby, and you kill Joel as Abby. Like you play the character of Abby, and you kill Joel as Abby. And it's because the game is made to where it's supposed to be like that. Regardless if people agree with how it was done or not, I'ma still say it. I don't agree with it. I actually hate the fact that <laughs> you had to play as Abby and she did that shit, you know, that shit still triggers me. That it kinda makes me hope that in the next game you actually get the body here. I'm just saying because, you know, Joel did not deserve that disrespect, but that's just how the game was made. The game was made for Joel to die even if it was in a pretty fucked up way. Like Yeah, that's just that's just how it is, you know. That's the whole it's just the part of the game. Like it's designed to be like that, sadly, but yeah, like it, the kill the Justice League is basically a game to basically influence the fact that these are villains that don't like the heroes, and the fact that they get the opportunity to kill them without no reasons, w w without being locked up and having a chance to get out of jail if they do so. You know what I'm saying? It's completely understandable in a, in a certain degree. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just saying it's just part of the game. Like with fucking Captain Boomerang pissing on the Flash after he kills him, and fucking Deadshot blasting fucking Green Lantern in his damn forehead and shit. And then I think King Shark taking this man's ring and basically stripping him of all his fucking clothes. And for some reason having a fucking Green Lantern boxers on. Like, I don't know. And then, the fact that, you know, they 
capture Batman, they put him through all this bullshit, and then with the final, the final nail in the coffin being that Harley Quinn puts the fucking barrel of the shit to his fucking head and lets it off on him. And I can understand why it gets so, I can understand why all of these are getting so much hate, especially the Batman shit, because Superman was probably the one Justice League character that you had to kill that had the most humane way of dying like they didn't disrespect them the only thing they did when it came to superman was that when they killed them they all gathered around and just started celebrating the fact that they killed all the justice league and the fact that they killed the one man that posed more threat than all three of them combined other than that if i want to give this rating of the story if you can look past I, i'll put it like this if you can look past the woke stuff, I want to say it's definitely at least a seven. So, some quick, I don't even know if I can call these quick, but quick honorable mentions. Uh, so I haven't even seen a lot of the shit for, you know, kill the Justice League as far as characters and shit go until pretty recently. And so, I'm going to go ahead and just bring them up. First of all, motherfucker said that they made King Shark gay. First of all, put my, put some respect on my man's King Shark name, bro. Don't disrespect the homie like that. Like, this man is the most friendliest motherfucker in the entire game. And I'm not lying to you. This man is more friendly than your average neighborhood bully. Despite the fact that he's a villain, has way more heart and respect and soul than anybody in the whole game. And that man just gets trashed just because of the fact that that man is not on some bullshit and then they also say that Harley Quinn is bisexual which listen bro I don't think anyone gives a damn and I'm pretty sure despite the fact that I didn't even realize that that's what they were pushing in these cutscenes I don't give a damn like like I'm pretty sure we got the hint that she was on some horny shit throughout the story of the fucking game <laughs> Like, bro, leave my man's King Shark alone. Like, they, that nigga ain't did shit to you. Like, there, first of all, there's no character development for this shit. So, simply saying, oh, yeah, we made King Shark gay, by the way, it's kind of retarded because where's the character development to show that? Yet alone, if it would even be good character development, like, there's good character development for a gay person, and then there's just shit character development or no no character development at all for a gay person and Harley Quinn is probably the biggest example of a shit character development almost to non character development because this shit is goofy like like I said leave my man's King Shark alone that nigga ain't did shit this nigga is the friendliest character in the whole game like that's he's personally one of my favorite characters off of the simple fact that he's just a he's, he, he's a nice ass dude like if he wasn't a villain i guarantee you this man would be a literal superhero like leave my man's alone and i don't know what i don't know what they could be and i'm not gonna lie i forgot so this game is 100 percent pushing a lot of uh woke bullshit and they only took me to realize that waller was actually interested in um lex version 2 for me to realize that this is 100% woke base. Why is King Shark gay? Even though we don't give a fuck, we don't know that this man is gay. There's no character development to show that this man is gay. There's no flashback to show that this man was gay. Uh, and Harley Quinn is a le is a lesbo or bisexual human being. Even though we kind of got the just that the motherfucker wants to play in the crock pot than to flicker around with the you know. 10 foot hot dog but Waller the one character that you would expect to basically be gay is straight and it's you see how that just don't make sense like a character that's very loved because of his personality and his overall just character in general gay and there's no character development make a character that is is bisexual because she's a woman but you make someone who literally looks like a dyke from straight up 
Jerry Springer. If y'all know that episode of that one dyke that sh just straight up started throwing hands and they had to hold that motherfucker back as much as they could because bros was literally fighting like an actual dude. But they make that motherfucker straight as hell. Like, bro, look, I wouldn't be surprised if they made this man Captain Boomerang identify as a non-binary human and be serious about it. It didn't make Floyd a racist? I wouldn't be surprised because it's pretty much in their nature to just be doing these characters like these. And nobody gives a fuck nor wants to give a fuck or wants to see that shit in the game. I also want to throw in some stuff that, you know, at the, like, in the headquarters, they, there's this, there's a thing, there's this little flag thing on the top, like, before you walk out to go do missions, this little flag thing that's there on the top, literally, and I mean literally, it says we accept everyone or something like that, with the LGBTQ flag and the, the fucking trans flag, and I'm just sitting there like, bro, I like Kill the Justice League. But it's like, the more I find out about this game in terms of what they did in the game, like characters and shit, the more I hear about that shit, the more irritated I get. Because it's like, I don't give a fuck. And it's irritating me because it's literally in my face and I have no way to turn. I have no way to turn that shit off. Like, bro, if there was a mod somewhere to get rid of all the LGBTQ and the trans, the gay shit, that... It's always in your face when you're playing the game. I'm not gonna lie. I would have been installing that shit as soon as I could. Because the shit is just irritating to see. If you can look past all the woke dumb shit and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can look past all that. I want to say it's a good 7. Because I actually enjoy the story. And then I also enjoy the game. So, yeah. <laughs> just go ahead and get back into the, the main part of the video, shall we? It's... it's it's pretty enjoyable like you understand the situations and you know why people are mad about it but you still like the game and you enjoy the game you know the whole point it don't bother you as much but you know it's just there I give it a seven but if you know the woke stuff does bother you a little bit which it does bother me you're not the only one like the woke stuff bothers me a, a good amount like it's it's just annoying you know what I'm saying but yeah, if you can't look past the woke stuff, which is understandable, I'm sort of the same way. I was able to look past it, thank God, but I have to say it's a 6.5 with, you know, being hard to look past the constant woke stuff that they try to throw at you, even when it comes to characters and stuff. I'm going to move on. I'm now going to move into, like, the problems of Kill the Justice League in terms of, like, uh, it's online only and the fact that live service you know what i'm saying now they did say that they plan on bringing multiplayer in some way shape or form like you know like pvp <laughs> i should have just said that from the beginning uh they do plan to bring pvp into the game at some point i don't know when but online only thing i feel like shouldn't be a thing like i would not feel like i'm positive that it shouldn't be a thing because the story is not really tied to the game. Like you should be able to play the story as offline, and if you wanted to play co-op, you can play co-op as online. You know what I'm saying? You can play co-op online, and whenever they decide to bring the multiplayer, well, the PvP multiplayer, if they ever do, you know, then okay. But online only for the whole game, for the entire lifespan of the game, until they decide to shut the servers down for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? I like, guess just disappointing because then if they don't think of an idea to keep at least the like being able to play the story and keep in mind the game isn't even finished yet like you still have to play through the game because you have 13 different types of brainiac you have to kill and people are really upset on the fact that the boss fight the brainiac boss fight was basically the flash all over again which i'm gonna say it right now yeah it is disappointing but i'm kind of, i'm starting to see what type of direction they might be aiming with this like they might just be trying to at least save the final brainiac fight for when they finally drop it they probably trying to save the final brainiac fight as like the true brainiac fight like you actually fight brainiac himself like you know, like, no, no, 
no adaptations of other heroes that he has powers of that he can turn himself into and use their powers. I mean like an actual Brainiac fight, like Brainiac himself, like he ain't no other character, he ain't no other types of character. He's Brainiac, like you fighting Brainiac dead on without any other, you know, switches and changes into his physique into fitting the character that he's trying to, you know, mimic to take advantage of so he can kill people, you know what I'm saying? The online shit, I don't agree with, it's just whack, like... The story should not be tied to online only. That's just that's just ridiculous. Like co-op, understandable. Multiplayer, PvP, understandable. But the storyline shouldn't be tied to it. Like you know what I'm saying. Even when they drop the updates, like with the joke is supposed to be. I suppose I I don't know. It's supposed to be coming this month, right? With the Joker coming to um kill the Justice League, the live service shit. I'm iffy about the online service. Like. If it's there, then it's there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's there, it's there. But, nah, if it was like Call of Duty where they try to make you spend a shit ton of money on skins that cost more than the game itself, then now that's understandable. Now, I can see that. Like, okay, well, that's just ridiculous. Now. But if it's like minimum, like it's not, like if that shit don't cost a lot, then it's like, eh, like it's there and it's not expensive, but... I mean, gotta. I mean, it's it's just a way for them to get more money for the future stuff. So it's I don't know. I'm just I'm iffy about it. Like I can understand like the live service shit and whatever. I can understand that to a degree, but it's like you know, I'm just I'm just iffy about that. I'm just iffy about that topic. Like it is like I'm I'm just neutral about it. Like I don't mind it as long as the shit don't cost a shit ton of money to be getting you know each skin like each skin is fifty dollars you know what to really think like if it's there it's there as long as it's just not expensive like call of duty is but no nah. now we're gonna move from that then we're gonna move to the gameplay the gameplay i'm gonna say the gameplay is probably the most fun i've had in a good old minute i never played a game that i genuinely enjoyed when it came to satisfying movements and stuff like that and then just being able to enjoy it. and here's the sad part about it i'm able to enjoy it the entirety of kill the justice league 100 even looking past the woke shit i'm able to enjoy the whole justice league well i'm, I'm able to enjoy the whole kill the justice league game and it's sad because i'm not even somebody that would like games like these Everyone knows my situation with the crew motor fest. My rap editor still bugged to this day. I tried to talk to him about it. They refused to acknowledge the fact that this is a problem in my game. Even when I sent proof. And then they constantly close the claim every time because, you know, they just don't give a damn. So I just eventually stopped playing motor fest and now I'm just not playing them. Like there's no games that I can truly enjoy. Until I got to kill, until I got to kill the Justice League. Like playing Kill the Justice League is probably the one game out of all of them, other than Cyberpunk. It's probably the first time I've ever enjoyed playing a game because there's a lot of games that suck. Now they do the bare, they do the bare minimum for these games. No, no, that's cap. They don't do the bare minimum for the games. They just half ass it like. Motifest with the D with with the December 6th update. You can't customize well you can't wrap any other of the um Hoonigan cars, which is a disappointment and a, a completely waste of excitement because a lot of those cars is like with a with, if you come make a, if you can make a rap on them, they will shine exponentially a lot. Like they like if you could put a rap on those cars, they will shine a hell of a lot more. And it will be way more fun and worth it. You know what I'm saying? But because you can't, and every single Hoonigan car in that update, even later down the line to come when they finally stop doing the Hoonigan stuff, you can't rap them. Motorfest is just a joke, and I'm not playing the game no more. Until they fix my rap editor, I refuse to play the game. Other than that, it's just trash. Anyway, I'm going to stop doing that because this is not about Motorfest. It's not about meme fest. It's about kill the Justice League, <laughs> bro. 
it's this is probably the first time I've enjoyed a game in a long time, even if it wasn't multiplayer. Like, I do like that they took the inspiration from the Batman series and basically put it in here, but with more agility and everything like that. Like, it's just a satisfying thing to do. It's like once you start playing it, you see how fun it is when you're moving fast as hell and taking out shit fast as hell and then doing these traversals and shit these you and, and, and then leveling up and all that is it's fun it's fun you know what i'm saying it's enjoyable there is one problem i do have with the game though this is really the only problem i have and i hope that they fix because i don't know why well there are bugs in the game too and they have acknowledged those bugs and they plan to come when the joker update comes yeah um I, there's there's the problem with the twitch drops where you don't where everything you get from the twitch drops of the game you don't like they don't they won't end up in your in your game like the king shark skin i don't have that skin no well not no more i don't have the skin yet like i watched i watched the stream all the way i claimed it and the skin is not in the game like every like the charm and everything else is in the game from the drop but the skin isn't and i don't know why it's like that it kind of made me a little bit upset but it didn't make me that upset to where it was like motifest motifest made me more upset and disappointed than anything else because it's just that they truly just neglect the fact that they didn't want to fix the game they and they don't want to fix the game <laughs> But this, it don't really make me that upset. It just makes me upset that I don't got the skin. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do want that skin, but I don't got it. And sadly, I missed I miss the Harley Quinn skin. And that's what makes me mad the most. Because that one actually looks pretty damn fire. But at least, at least there is still the Deadshot and Captain Boomerang skins to still come out for the drop. So, there, there is hope that, you know, the Harley Quinn skin might drop again later on down the line hopefully if i can catch it in time if it does and then i noticed another bug last night when i was playing where i couldn't use the shotgun like it refused to let me shoot anything when i pulled it out so what i had to do i figured this out by myself i, don't, I know there's videos on it but i figured it out by myself so i had to basically unequip the shotgun and then i had to re-equip it back and then it was able to work fine so yeah that anyway um now now for the overall rating of the game i did the rating of the story and i didn't do the rating for the f i ain't really i ain't really do a rating for the you know the fact that it's online only and in the live service and all that and then the 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 actual gameplay because I don't want to rate those by themselves. I feel like the story was way more worthy of it because it just, it's the story. Why wouldn't you want to rate only the story if you didn't want to rate the whole game? <laughs> but anyway, the whole, the, 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 the true rating of the game collectively, I want to say, I truly want to say that it's at least a seven. Seven as the max because, you know, the story shit with the Volk stuff, you know that, and then the live service stuff and the online only situation, and especially when it ties to the story too, that it's online only and everything like that. So, yeah, that too. Oh, one more thing, I forgot performance issues. For some reason, on PC, when I was playing through the story, I was getting frame drops like crazy through some of the cut. Well, not through some, through um a lot of the cutscenes. <laughs> It'll drop below 60 and then it was just start chopping hard as hell and I'm like, you know, eh, it's kind of, eh, you know what I'm saying? Like bad performance problems. So it pro it's probably just not optimized that well. I don't fucking know. <laughs> when it comes to PC shit, the only thing I can say and hope that it makes sense is that it's just not optimized well enough. <laughs> but yeah. Everybody have their own likings of on their of their own games, and they're entitled and they're entitled to have their own you know opinions of how they feel about the game and everything like that. So, 
that's just how I feel about the game. Like, I like the game. I know it's problems. I know it's hate. I know the, I know it's struggles that it's going through. And I'm not going to pick no sides. I'm basically neutral in the whole thing, basically. Like, I like the game, but I know it's problems. I can agree to pro. I can agree with the problems that the game has. I can disagree with some stuff, depending on what it is. But I still like the game overall. So, a 7 out of 10, for me... I mean, it ain't too bad, but still pretty bad because you know, it would have been it would have been a little bit higher if it wasn't the live service shit, and the fact that it was online only. If it wasn't all that, then okay, it would have been at least a seven point five, <laughs> seven point five, which is I guess not that much, but yeah. Anyway, that's that was my uh. Not review. Uh, th that was my uh, take on Kill the Justice League. On how I feel about Kill the Justice League after playing the game. And well, after playing the story. I didn't play the multiplayer yet. Well, I didn't play the co-op yet. Because I don't have nobody that I can actually play it with. So, <laughs> I'm basically by myself. But, yeah. That's about it. And I'll catch you all later.